to our badge session today. So today we are working on our scribe badge, which is for our Girl Scout Juniors. And below you see our badge requirements. So let's go through those. Um, step one is start with a poem. Step two is create a short story. Step three is use words to share who you are. Step four is write an article. Step five is tell the world what you think, okay? So as you can see, steps one and three are highlighted. Those are gonna be the steps that we're gonna be completing today, okay? All right, so first, we need to do our Girl Scout Promise in Law. If you want to be unmuted, we will unmute you so we can all say this together, okay? Awesome. I think everyone is unmuted. There we go. Okay. All right, ready? On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. All right, our Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Awesome. Thank you, ladies. So the purpose of today's badge is to know how to write different kinds of stories, both true tales and ideas from your imagination. So that's what we're going to be working on today. But first, I have two quick videos for us to view. So we are going to find, or excuse me, we're going to talk a little bit about um, what a haiku is and what a limerick is. So. Let's get our video going. And before it plays, can everyone see the video? Just thumbs up. We're still seeing the slide. Still seeing the slide? Okay. Not a problem. I'm seeing the slide. Not a now, problem. Now we see ourselves. Now you see yourselves. <laughs> All right, let's get to... All right, can you see our video now? No. No. Oh. Yeah, I'll see There that. we go. <laughs> now we see it. It would help if I hit the share button. <laughs> awesome. All right. So let's watch a quick video about what a haiku is. We can't really hear it, Lindsay. Can't hear. Okay. You can't hear it? Not a problem. I will get that volume turned up for us. But thank you for letting me know. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I will start this over for us. Is that better? Haiku poems. Haiku poems express a single thought. They are only made up of three lines. They are very short poems. Rhyme scheme does not matter for a haiku poem. They do not need to rhyme. However, syllables do matter for a haiku poem. There are a couple ways to count syllables. Clap your hands, put your hand under your chin, or count it on your fingers. I do syllables fall in a certain pattern. It should be five, seven, and five in each line. The first line has five syllables, the second line has seven syllables, and the third line has five syllables. You always have the five, seven, five pattern in most high 
The most common topic for a haiku poem is nature, whether you're talking about grass, animals, or weather. All of them apply to nature. To review, a haiku poem has only three lines, follows the five, seven, five syllable scheme, and they're typically about nature. Perfect, perfect. Did everyone get to hear and see that? Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So now we're going to go on to our next video. So we're going, and then we'll come back to come back to our examples that we have up here. So next, we're going to learn about what a limerick is. And I apologize for the little commercial in the beginning. Okay, so we'll stop there. I wanted you to all get a great idea of what a limerick was. I'm sure we all have heard um, a limerick before, but did not know the proper name. Um, so real quick, one thing that it didn't mention is that it is um, an Irish um, poem, and then haku is um, a three-line Japanese poem. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit more today. So as you can see, um, we do have, can you all see the PowerPoint now? Yes. You can? Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, so as you can see, we have two examples. Um, so let's start with the haiku first. So the example is um, an old silent pond. A frog jumps into the pond, splash, silence again. So one thing we noticed um, very quickly is that it doesn't rhyme and haikus do not typically rhyme at all. They can, but they don't typically rhyme. And one other thing that you're gonna notice is that it's usually about nature. So the video told us usually when you write um, such a poem, it does um, talk about nature. The other very important role of a haiku is that it follows um, the syllables of five in the first line, seven syllables in the second, and then five in the third line, okay? So let's run through that one again and let's count the syllables. So I typically clap, but as the video said, you can use your chin if you, if you wish to, or however um, you typically count out your syllables, you can do that. So let's work on that together. So again, I'm gonna clap. So, an old silent pond. So we counted out five syllables, is that correct? 
Everybody follow? Perfect. So let's go to line two. A frog jumps into the pond. Sounds like seven there, right? Perfect. Now our last line should have five. Let's see if it has five. Splash, silence, again. Is that five? Awesome, 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 awesome. So what we're going to do, I'm also going to read to you um, the example of a limerick, but today we're actually going to create our own haiku. But let's go through our example of a limerick first. So our example is, there was an old man with a beard who said, it is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren have all built their nest in my beard. Okay, so as you can see with that example, that poem, it actually rhymes. So typically these types of poems will rhyme. It can be about whatever you want it to be about, okay? All right, so let's move forward. Everyone um, grab your pencil and your paper, or if you have a pen, that's also fine, and a notebook. So we're actually gonna create our own haiku, okay? So again, here are some quick tips on how to make your own. Remember that the first line has to include five syllables. The second line has to include seven. And then our third line has to include five, okay? And remember, it needs to be something about nature. If you're having any trouble with that, of course, you can have it talk about whatever you wish, but let's try to see if we can make it match um, something about nature, okay? I'm going to give you about four to five minutes to work on that, and I see we have a question from Patricia. Yes, ma'am. Do you want us to write our own story about haiku? So you're actually going to write your own haiku. So you're on, you only need to do three lines. Okay. So the first one... And I'll put up another example for you. The first one, first line is going to have five syllables. Your second line will have seven. And then your third will have five. So I'm going to put another example up so you all can use that to follow. And I'll read this one for you. It says, between the two trees, looking up at the branches, which one should we climb? So that is Tyrone's um, haiku that he created. So if you want to use that as a base to create your own, please do. I'll leave this up for you as you write your own, okay? And remember, nothing has to be perfect. We are just now starting this activity together. So be as creative as you want to be, okay? So that first line, you, you heard the syllables, Patricia, right? So like my name, Kathleen has two syllables. How many does Patricia have? How many syllables does your name, Patricia? Five? So the, the syllables are the beat in the word. So mm -hmm. Patricia. Patricia. How many beats? Pa Three. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So if, if you were the start of a high cue, it would be Patricia is cool. That's five. Patricia is cool. Because my first line can only have five beats. Exactly. The next <laughs> thing, the next one could be Kathleen is really cool too. <laughs> <laughs> So you see right there on her slide, Patricia, it says five syllables in the first line. He wrote between the two trees. Mm -hmm. So you have to write that first line, five beats. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, and lady, like a, uh, okay. Say that again, Patricia. I was going to write a big story, of uh, like a big, a big story. Big story like well, you'll get to do that in the later steps, trust me. Hold on to that, because you'll definitely get to do that in your other steps. This one's a short story. And it's exactly. Five <laughs> exactly. How, how many sentences? Just three. Just three. Three. 
But your first Wait, sentence what? can only have five beats. Yeah, it's a poem. It's not a story. Yeah. It's a poem, Patricia. Yeah. And ladies, I do want to say, if you're having any issues with connecting it to nature, you do not have to do that since this is our first time for most of us starting this. So if you want it to be about something else, that is totally fine. Looks like Maddie is up there working too. I'm sure Allie is. Abigail looks like she's thinking. <laughs> she's also counting. <laughs> and remember ladies, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. So I'll give you all about maybe two more minutes and then we're gonna see who wants to share theirs, okay? Looks like Maddie has a question. I'm gonna unmute you. Um, I want to share my uh, my haiku. You want to share yours? Okay, perfect. So we'll let you go first. Um, we're gonna give our other friends just another minute or so, and then we'll let you go first. Okay. Awesome. I'm excited to hear, Miss Kathleen. I think I'll probably start with Lindsay. Is cool as well. <laughs> Probably going to use that one to start off and then I can connect it to nature as I get comfortable. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Let's see. And I know um, some of you may um, have not been able to hear everything, so I will make sure to include those links in your email this afternoon, okay? It looks like Patricia asked, does it need a title? It does not need a title. Yeah, don't need a title. This is super, super, super easy. Yes, ma'am, Miss Patricia. What, what are you supposed to write about, but anything? You can. Typically, they um, are about nature, but you can write it about whatever you wish. And remember, it doesn't have to rhyme either. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I know it makes it, it seems like it makes it a little harder since it's a short, a short poem. I know. But don't worry, you all will have uh, plenty of time to write longer, um, longer stories and articles later on in the steps. <laughs> I think Patricia liked that answer. Yes. <laughs> All right, I see some girls still working. So let's go ahead. We're going to regroup. And I think Miss Maddie said she wants to share hers. So we're going to start with her. Maddie, I'm going to unmute you. And you can begin when you're ready. Okay. I love the winter, playing as the snow falls down, building a snowman. Also, also, let's read. I want to read it again because I'm going to count that while you read. Okay, go, let's go ahead. Let's do that again. I love the winter. Uh -huh. Play. Snow falls down. Building a snowman. Building a snowman. Awesome. Great job. Great job. Awesome. Thank you for sharing as well. That was good. Anybody want to volunteer to go next? Who wants to share? And I will unmute you. Let's see. Abby, Patricia, Allie, or not Abby, excuse me, Abigail. Uh, I'll, I can share mine. Okay, go ahead, Miss Allie. The mountains are pretty, the desert is dry and hot, neither are the same. Ooh, I'll read that one more time. It was a little low. I want to be able to hear you. The mountains are pretty. The desert is dry and hot. Neither are the same. I like. Awesome job, Allie. Thank you for sharing. Awesome. Awesome. You ladies are doing a great job. All right, so we have Abigail and Patricia. Do either one of you ladies want to share yours? <laughs> Ab Abigail says no. 
Patricia, let's see. Let me unmute you real quick. There you go. I'm not finished yet. Not finished? That's no problem. You can continue to work on that. But I want to thank Allie and Maddie for sharing your haikus with us. Those were awesome. Great job, ladies. Great job. Very, very brave. Yes. So if you're still working on yours, please do. Um, and Abigail, if you feel like you want to share yours later with us, you can always send it to us, okay? And I think Maddie has a question, so I'm going to unmute you. Um, I have one more haiku. Oh, okay, yes. Go ahead and share that with us. I can see the stars and the beautiful planets shining in the sky. Awesome. You all are doing a really great job. I'm so excited to see this. And I think, Maddie, I think you really like this. So this might be something that you continue to do. I like that. Awesome. Good job. And thank you again for wanting to share with us. I appreciate it. Awesome. So what we're going to do, ladies, that was... Step one, so we all learn how to write a haiku. I think Patricia either wants to share or has a question. Let me unmute you. Can I share mine, please? Absolutely. I eat pancakes with strawberry on top. Ice cream is my favorite food. I wish I had $1,000 million. $1,000 million. I think there were a little bit more syllables in there. Let's go to your first. What did your first line say? Just read your first I, line for us. I eat pancakes with strawberry on top. Oh yeah, that sounds like nine syllables, I think. So can you shorten it to five? Maybe. I'll try my best. You would definitely want to try, okay? So remember, just five syllables for your first line, then seven for your second, and then another five. So continue to work on that. That's a good start, though. Awesome. All right, ladies. So I think we had another friend join us below. And please correct me if I'm mispronouncing your name. I think it's pronounced Shava. And I'll unmute you. There you go. It's Chava. Chava, I'm so sorry. Well, Chava, thank you for joining us. We are so happy that you're joining us today. We just went over step one but we are recording so we'll be able to uh, make sure that you get all that information we just finished learning how to write a haiku so we'll make sure that you get all that information okay okay awesome thank you for joining us you're welcome all right ladies so we're going to move forward all right so we're going to jump to step three. So let's move this out of the way. Step three is use words to share who you are. Okay. So autobiographical stories are one are ones that have happened to you. Okay. So it's a story that is about you that has happened to you. Okay. So begin the same way you did when you told the story from your imagination with characters, a plot, and a setting. This time, you're going to add lots of detail about how you felt and what you thought. So I'm going to give you about four minutes to write down a short story about your favorite Girl Scout memory, a memorable day, or a big adventure. So um, you could do one of the three. Some of your stories may incorporate all three. So I'll give you about four minutes to write down um, just a short story about your favorite Girl Scout memory, a memorable day, or a big adventure, okay? So go ahead and get started. And then we do want you to share a little bit of your story with us, okay? So while you're- I'm sorry. Travis, do you have a, a pen and pencil um, so that you, oh, okay, that's your pen right there? <laughs> awesome. I think, Miss Patricia, you have a question? Yes. Um, can I finish this first before I go to the next thing? Absolutely. Yes, you can. 
So Ms. Ms. Kathleen, I think it might be great if maybe you and I could share a, one of our favorite stories from Girl Scouts. <laughs> Oh, I have you on mute. <laughs> there you go. You want us to write something and then share it? You can, yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'll be ready whenever you are. Awesome. And so since you girls are juniors, you probably all have plenty of stories, especially if you started in um, your date as a daisy in kindergarten. I'm sure you all have plenty of stories. <laughs> I saw a hand wave. I think that meant yes. All right. I think Abigail, she looks like she's finished. Maybe, thumbs up, thumbs down? Not yet, okay, okay. Awesome. Ooh. All right, I see everyone's still writing. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> it looked like Patricia finished. I'm sorry. It looked like you put your hand up there. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Looks like she's still writing. So, okay. <laughs> Miss Patricia, are you are you still writing? Oh, hold on. Let me unmute you. <laughs> there you go. No, no, ma'am. I I'm still trying to figure out. Says to do for the last um five out of for the five syllables. Yes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Cool. She's still working on. No problem. You continue to work. Not a problem. Awesome. Let's see. Looks like Maddie is finished. Thumbs up. Maddie is finished. And Maddie, we're going to give our friends um, another minute to finish writing their story for us. Patricia said she was done. She's done? Awesome. So, Miss Patricia, while everyone is finishing up their story, did you want to share your haiku with us? I can't unmute her. Okay. Let's see. And you may have to unmute yourself, Patricia. All right, she might still be working, and that's fine. Awesome. All right. So it looks like everyone is done. I see some heads that have raised. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for using the emojis of the thumbs up. <laughs> that's a great feature. <laughs> awesome, ladies. So... Last time we had Maddie start, so let's choose another volunteer. Who wants to go first? Let's see. I'll go. You'll go? Okay. All right, Miss Kathleen. All right. A couple of years ago, I was boating with my Girl Scout friends. We've known each other since we were brownies. And the sail all of a sudden caught a big wind, and it turned the boat and two of us went into the water. We were scared at first, but then our friends came back to get us. We still like sailing together. <laughs> awesome. That's a good story, good memory. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for volunteering to go first. Who's next? Okay, I'm going to unmute Miss Chava. There you go. One day, me and my friend Abigail were at World Thinking Day. We did lots of cool things. They had special foods there, and we tried crepes for the first time. We had sugar candies and chips and salsa. We also made friendship bracelets and went to different booths. We had a good time. Oh, that's a great story. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. That's a great story. 
So I think, Miss Patricia, I saw your hand wave. So I think you were next. <laughs> so I'm going to unmute you. Um, do you want to um, present your haiku for us? Yes, ma'am. I'm okay. on my first one. Nobody is paying me any attention. Like they don't eat. <laughs> I'm on my first one. <laughs> that is no problem. Okay. Let's share your haiku with us. I eat pancakes for lunch and dinner. Ice cream is Ice cream is my favorite food. I listen to music. I think the second line was seven. Did I count that right? I think I did. And what was your first line? I eat pancakes for lunch and dinner. Oh, that's eight or nine. Yeah, I think that's nine. Okay. Okay, I think that's nine. Now, you can cut some of that out, but that's a great first line. But you can cut it down to five syllables. But I like that you're sticking with food. <laughs> I might do the same. <laughs> Good can job. Can I get a chance to um, write my, uh, my, other, my other thing, too? You said you did write it already? No, I said, can I get another chance to write my other thing about it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You go for it, and then we'll let our other friends share and probably by the time that they're done, you'll be ready to share, okay? Awesome, awesome. So let's see, we have left Allie and Abigail and Maddie hasn't gone yet, that's right. Okay, so Allie, do you want to present? Another, can I have another minute? Absolutely, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. And Abigail, do you want to present your story? She says, no, okay, you're fine, <laughs> you're fine. Well, I hope that you do hold on to that story to share with your friends and your troop, okay? All right, so let's go to Maddie. I'm gonna unmute you. Okay, my favorite and most memorable day being a Girl Scout was when it was my first time going to Camp Merry Merriweather and we slept in a cabin and ate a lot of junk food for breakfast. <laughs> 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 That's a great story. <laughs> Good story. You ladies did a great job with your stories. I'm I'm also going to share one. Um, I I didn't write it down write it down in front of me, but it definitely is in my head. So my favorite Girl Scout memory is when um, I first went to camp. Um, little known fact: I was not a Girl Scout when I was younger, so I never got that opportunity. But um, when I became a staff member with Girl Scouts, I got the opportunity to go to one of our campsites, and I never went camping, so I was very terrified. Um, but during that trip, I got to go um, out in the river kayaking, and I had a blast. I did not think I would, but it was great. I experienced it with my other coworkers, and we really had a good laugh because we almost fell out the boats, so <laughs> glad that did not happen, but that is my favorite Girl Scout memory to this day. <laughs> awesome, ladies, thank you all for, for sharing just a little bit of your Girl Scout experience with us. We really appreciate you being open about that. And I think Miss Patricia might still be writing hers, so continue to write yours and then we'll let you share before we get offline, okay? All right, ladies, so that was step three, using words to share who you are. All right, so what we're going to do, um, the next steps are just steps that we want you to continue to work on and complete on your own, but I do want to go through um, those steps really quickly. So um, again, we completed steps one and three today, uh, but you will need to complete step two, which is create a short story. So stories are made up of, again, characters, which are the people in the story. Um, you're gonna have a plot, and the plot is what's happening in the story. And then you're gonna need a setting, and the setting is where the story is going to take place. Um, so you're gonna get a chance to make up a five page story in one of these categories. So it can be a mystery, it can be humor, or it can be about an adventure. Um, if you want to do all three, you totally can, but you only have to choose one. 
but this is where you really get to be as creative as you want to be because you get to choose your own characters, you get to choose the plot, and you get to choose where it's going to take place, okay? So that is your step two. All right, then step four is to write an article. And I apologize, it says and, I just realized that, but it is write an article. So an article is a type of story that you might find in your local newspapers or a magazine. There are many different types of articles, but they all will give the facts. So usually anytime you're reading an article, it's going to give you factual information. Um, not just the writer's opinion. So writers typically will answer the five W's to get all the facts. So what are the five W's? I see Chava's hand. I'm going to unmute you, Chava. Who, what, where, who, what, where, mm -hmm. when, and Exactly. It is the who, what, where, when, and why. Those are the five W's that you're going to do or you're going to look for when you're writing your article, okay? The who, what, when, and why. So most articles will also start with a sentence called a lead, and that sentence gives the reader the most interesting or important first fact. So typically, if you're reading something in the magazine or the newspaper, there's usually that first sentence that will grab your attention to make you want to read the entire article, okay? So your article doesn't have to be long, but it does need to answer the five W's, okay? So in step four, you are going to get to um, either write an article that's based off of an interview that interview can be between you and a family member or you and a friend. Maybe you want to write an article on a story that you saw on the news. Or you can do what we call a roundup article. So a roundup article is typically where you're asking several different people um, about the same topic. So you're getting information about the same topic from different individuals, okay? That is a roundup article. So those are the three different activities that you can do for step four. You only need to do one, um, but those are um, just the different activities that you'll be able to do and remember to answer the five W's in your activity. So next we have step five, which is tell the world what you think, okay? So an essay gives facts, but is written from the author's point of view. So as you get older, you're going to find in school that you're going to be writing more and more essays in class, okay? So unlike an article, an essay is a chance for you to share your thoughts and your feelings. So with this step, you get a chance to write a two-page essay about one of these things and try to include five facts along with your opinion. So you can write an essay about your favorite animal. You can write an essay about um, a place that you visited or would like to visit. Or you can take the favorite books that you showed us earlier today and write an essay about that, okay? So this is another way um, for you to kind of be creative again um, because you get to add in facts in your own opinion, okay? So again, you're gonna be doing steps two four, and five on your own, all right? So you all get to be really creative. You get to write some articles about things that are factual as well. And it looks like we got a question from Miss Patricia about two pages. Um, so if you want to write this in your notebook, you would just fill up both sides. That'll be two pages. Um, if you want to type, this on your laptop or computer um, if you do have Word on or some of you may be able to use Word doc under Google you can use that and then it'll tell you of course when you get to your second page okay and also I think Miss Patricia is ready to read yes 
her short story. So let's unmute. All right, Miss Patricia. So go ahead and tell us your favorite memory. For Browns, we did fun things together and fun activities. Juniors, we did arts and crafts, other activities. Jasmine and I had a fun time with Brownies and Juniors, but we also had other memories in the classroom. Also, so I heard you mention your friend Gabby. Was that right? No, Jasmine. I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine. 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 Okay, Jasmine. That's cool. I think that's great that you mentioned one of your friends. And, and with Girl Scouts, you can make a lot of friends in Girl Scouts. There are some girls I know that have been friends since they were daisies, and now they are graduating high school. So that's amazing. Well, ladies, you all have done a great job today. I'm very, very happy um, and impressed with the stories that you gave and the haikus that you made. So I say continue to work on those steps so that you can earn the badges. Um, remember that we do have a Girl Scouts Connected virtual program series patch. They are here in the shop, so if you wish to have your parent or troop leader order those for you, please do. And also, are there any questions before we sign off today? Yes. I heard a yes from Patricia. Yes, ma'am. Uh oh what's your question patricia um can you go over the steps again please because i didn't catch him absolutely you were reading my mind <laughs> let's see and i think maddie had a question did you have the same question maddie yes i did i was wondering um when do you post the video when we post the video. So the video is typically post within 24 hours after the recording. Um, so you can check back tomorrow. It should be available. Okay. And then you're going to get an email this after, later this afternoon um, that'll have um, all the requirements and everything that we went through today. Great question. Great. Awesome. So let's go through those steps one more time. So we have um, step one and three that we completed today but I'm just gonna go through them in order so you know exactly what they are. So step one is start with the poem. Step two is create a short story. Step three is use words to share who you are. Step four is write an article. And step five is tell the world what you think. Okay, so those are the five steps. And remember we completed one and three today. But again, you're going to get all this information in your email, so you'll know exactly where to get started. And again, ladies, I really want to thank you for joining us. This was a great session. Don't forget to tune in with us next week on Wednesday. Wednesdays are going to be our Junior Girl Scout Day. So Wednesday, June 17th at 3 o'clock, join us right back here on Zoom for a topic, what's working and what's not. And Ms. Kathleen will be leading that for us. Also, don't forget to join us every Tuesday at 5 o'clock for our Girls Only Lounge, okay? Next week, we are going to be making parfaits, and I'll be leading that for you, so make sure you check our website to, so you have all the ingredients and materials that we're going to use, because we're going to have a lot of fun, okay? All right, ladies, if there's no other questions, we thank you for joining and continue to enjoy, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, okay? All right. Bye. Bye.